Hello. Greetings, and welcome to J and J Artisan Pipe Shop Talk, episode thirteen. No. We are drinking. Well, you haven't drank, but we're drinking uh, arrogant bastard ale. Forgive me for my language. Uh, it's from Stone Brewing Company uh, in San Diego. It's a kind of a hoppy ale. Very good. Oh. I remember when I had this the first time five years ago because mm -hmm. I thought the name was cool. And it was the hoppiest, harshest thing I'd ever had. It tasted disgusting when I first had yeah. it. Now it's, I think it's amazing. Yeah, it's just a great, well-rounded, hoppy beer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What are you smoking? I'm smoking what you're smoking. What is that? Uh, <laughs> Grand Croupier. Croupier. The Boneyard, the English version of the, the floor sweepings. Mm -hmm. It's really good. It is. It's cheap, right? $12 a pound. I'll smoke that all day long. Yeah, you can't. You really can't beat that. Mm -mm. Uh, yeah. So, we, well... We have a lot of information to get through today, so we're going right. to go try and go <clears throat> quick. Uh, we promised to talk about bowl coating this week. So, what are some of the purposes of bowl coating? Well, first off, which is one of the more particulars, I think, to us, is that it makes it look clean. Mm. It just, it, it makes the pipe look finished, and it's just, it puts that final touch, like putting a frame around a picture. It's just like, mm. Now it's done. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's one of the reasons. Mm -hmm. Aesthetics, which we'll discuss later. Yeah. Uh, one of the other reasons is to build up a cake a little quicker. Mm -hmm. um, and you just you put a coat in the bowl, mm -hmm. bowl coating, and uh, you have a little activated charcoal, which we'll get to, um, in there. And it just it it kind of binds with the tobacco tar and the. Mm -hmm. The caramelized sugars and all that stuff, and it just helps mm -hmm. to build the cake a little quicker. Mm -hmm. Because it's evenly spread, or at least it should be evenly yeah. spread, it, it helps evenly build cake. And I will say that I find the taste of a bowl coating superior to that of the raw the, wood. The raw briar. <laughs> I just yeah, it, I mean, it tastes like a campfire in my mouth when yeah, I Yeah, for like the first five bowls. Yeah. Well, some people like that. Some people like that. And that's good. You know, it's barbaric. That's what you like. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> uh, the, for those of you who may not know what we're talking about, we're talking about when you buy a brand new pipe, the, the, the black that looks like char that's already in the bowl, even though it's already. Oh, yeah, you know, I it's guess. It's not smoked. Yeah. I don't know. If, uh, we shouldn't assume that everyone knows what we're talking about. Right. What's the third <clears throat> purpose? The third purpose. Uh, is to help prevent burnouts, which is why we're talking about it, because last week we talked about burnouts. Yeah. Um, it does help with burnouts. There mm -hmm. are mainly what helps it with burnouts or helps prevent burnouts is, is the components therein, mm -hmm. the bowl coating. And yeah, and you can... That's you, where it gets interesting. Right, and you can, based on the components that you use, you can achieve a good look. Um, you can get a nice taste and build cake and you can prevent burnouts all in kind of different ratios based on what you're putting in your bowl mm -hmm. coating. Yep. Every element has its own feature mm -hmm. to bring. <clears throat> so what are the elements? Well, uh, the main element is the activated charcoal. Right. Um, and that kind of gives it the black color. It gives it the absorbency mm -hmm. and gives it... Activated but charcoal it's a sounds taste. weird, uh, but it's actually really good for you. Um, <laughs> it's the hippie way of uh, getting sober after being drunk. Oh. It's also what hospitals will pump in you if you drink gasoline because it just absorbs up all the gasoline. I think I read that like a gram has the same surface area as a football field or some very small amount. Yeah, it's just it's, very It's absorbent. so... I don't understand Porous. it. It's fascinating. But yeah. it, it just soaks up toxins. It soaks up stuff like... Just try, if you if you have some, or can get some at Whole Foods or something, just sprinkle it on top of, like, uh, uh, soapy dishwater. It just, all the suds and everything just, like, sucks to it, like a like an action movie in the ocean where Godzilla's 
fell in. Never mind. Okay, we digress. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So uh, that's that's the main element that's in all bulk coating. Yeah, but there's also um, the binder, which mm -hmm. will help it to all stick together and stick to the wall of the pipe. Mm -hmm. um, it which makes it a coat instead of just a liquid. Right. It kind of gives it a, almost a paint mm -hmm. texture. Um, people use honey. Uh, people use buttermilk or sour cream, uh, pumice. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, there are a lot of different binders out there. Yeah, and that's kind of the thing that'll give it um, a certain flavor or give it a little sugar, mm -hmm. give it a nice sweet first it's, smoke. I, I forgot also that they that they often dilute it to make it a little more liquidy because if you put all those things together, it's very viscous. I love that term, viscous. Yeah. But um, so they'll dilute it with denatured alcohol, you know, something like that. We actually use Everclear, which is whole grain alcohol that you can drink. Mm -hmm. We use that to dilute it. But the controversial thing is uh, what not everybody uses, but a lot of people do, is sodium silicate or water glass. Which sounds bad. But. It does sound bad, and I think the main reason it's gotten a bad rap recently is because uh, the Western society is on this big kick of anything that has a chemical name is probably bad for you. Um, at least it feels that way a little yeah. bit. And we're in California, so we should know. Right. Um, <laughs> no offense to yeah. anyone. <laughs> water glass is a glass that is soluble in water. Um, it uh, It's hazardous in its pure form only because um, it's glass. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> and if you dump powdered glass in your eyes or dump it on your skin or breathe it in, it's bad for you. Right. Um, but if you use a glass like this, it's inert. You can wash it, you can put it in the microwave, you can do all kinds of things with it, and it's perfectly fine. Yeah, because <clears throat> water glass, when it's not in water mm -hmm. or something for it to bind to, it wants mm -hmm. to bind to something. Right, it's an alkaline, so, so it'll... Uh, if you put it on your skin, it'll just want to bind to your skin. Mm -hmm. um, but when it's in water, or when it's mixed with activated charcoal and some sort of dairy product or pumice or whatever, mm -hmm. it's inert. And especially when it's dry, mm -hmm. it forms a glass coating, which acts as a fire retardant. Yeah, and they actually use water glass mm -hmm. uh, in fixing exhaust pipes um, in fire retardation, um, which I believe is a technical term. Uh, and what else do they use it for? They uh, wine making, beer brewing, yeah. uh, water treatment, right. egg preservation. Mm -hmm. I don't, it just has a lot of uses because when you put it on something, it forms a seal, a very heat resistant seal, and it forms a glass which is completely chemically inert. Right. Um, but I think the issue is, what is you know people think what is that stuff? I don't understand it. Right, and therefore, and but <clears throat> burning tobacco. Tobacco is probably yeah. It's you know. it's a powder glass, <clears throat> so it, you know. I think the fear comes in. Okay, you're putting this inside your bowl. You're smoking it. The idea of breathing in right glass sounds sounds really bad, it, but it 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 it's, becomes solid. It's, it's so heat resistant. There's right. almost nothing you can do to it right. to actually get it to do something weird. So, anyways, please educate yourselves. Mm -hmm. um, and just because it says um, there are hazard prevention measures on the MSDS sheet doesn't mean that handled correctly, it is hazardous. Everything right. is hazardous if handled inc incorrectly. So do your research, form your own opinion. Mm -hmm. But yeah, and if you if you don't want bulk coating, <clears throat> good luck telling a factory pipe to not put bulk coating in your pipe. But if you contact a, a handmade pipe maker, you can tell them leave it off for me, and they might have stipulations about it, but <clears throat> if you don't want it, they're don't usually get willing it. to do it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We are. Yeah. Um, so, uh, you know, we, the whole kind of point of this is to help prevent burnouts as, as a trail from last week. And the real thing about burnouts is, is smoking habits more than anything. Mm -hmm. um, so just use a low temperature flame, like a match, yeah. and smoke a full bowl and build up cake and that's that's your best bet and smoke slow so. mm -hmm. 
Uh, we're going to show you <clears throat> a little um, montage. And a before and after, I think, or whatever we're yeah. going to do. I'm going to show you what a pipe looks like before and after the bowl coating to just give you an idea of what it, why we feel that it looks cleaner. Mm -hmm. And it, it looks finished and, and just, mm -hmm. we think it, it pops, it makes the whole thing just look. Like a lot. finished product yeah. to me. I, I always feel like the... Finished product, but more like a piece of art. That it's like, yeah. this, is, this is complete. It's, it's, yeah. It looks unfinished otherwise, so. Next week's Thanksgiving. Yeah. So, happy Thanksgiving. Yeah.